Kurbani Arabic, Kurbani Kurban, or Udiya Adid as referred to in Islamic law, is the sacrifice of a livestock animal during Eid al-Adha. The word is related to the Hebrew Kurban Korban, offering, and Syriac Kurbana, sacrifice, etymologized through the cognate Arabic triliteral as a way or means of approaching someone, or nearness. In Islamic law, udiyah would refer to the sacrifice of a specific animal, offered by a specific person, on specific days to seek God's pleasure and reward. The word kurban appears thrice in the Quran, once in reference to animal sacrifice and twice referring to sacrifice in the general sense of any act which may bring one closer to God. In contrast, dabiha refers to normal Islamic slaughter outside the day of udiyah. Origins Islam traces the history of sacrifice back to Abel and Cain, Habel and Kabul, whose story is mentioned in the Qur. An. Abel was the first human being to sacrifice an animal for God. Ibn Kathir narrates that Abel had offered a sheep whilst his brother Cain offered part of the crops of his land. The ordained procedure of God was that a fire would descend from the heavens and consume the accepted sacrifice. Accordingly, a fire came down and enveloped the animal slaughtered by Abel thus accepting the sacrifice of Abel while Sa'an's sacrifice was rejected. This led to jealousy on the part of Cain resulting in the first human death when he murdered his brother Abel. After not seeking repentance for his actions, Cain was not forgiven by God. Ibrahim's sacrifice the practice of Kurbani can be traced back to Ibrahim, who dreamt that God ordered him to sacrifice his son. Ibrahim agreed to follow God's command and perform the sacrifice, however, God intervened and informed him that his sacrifice had been accepted. Unlike the Bible, there is no mention in the Qur. and of an animal, ram, replacing the boy, rather he is replaced with a great sacrifice. Since the sacrifice of a ram cannot be greater than that of Ibrahim's son, and a prophet in Islam at that, this replacement seems to point to either the religious institutionalization of sacrifice itself, or to the future self-sacrifices of the Islamic prophet Muhammad and his companions, who were destined to emerge from the progeny of Ishmael, in the cause of their faith. From that day onward, every Eid al-Adha once a year, Muslims around the world slaughter an animal to commemorate Ibrahim's sacrifice and to remind themselves of abnegation. Wisdom of sacrifice The philosophy behind Udiya is that it is a demonstration of submission to God, complete obedience to God's will or command and sacrificing everything for his pleasure. Ibrahim demonstrated this spirit of submission and sacrifice in the best possible manner. When confronted with the challenge of love and allegiance, he chose to submit unconditionally to God and suppressed personal desire and love for his family and child. Kurbani calls for the slaughter of one's innate desires by placing the knife of courage and resistance on hatred, jealousy, pride, greed, animosity, love for the world and other such maladies of the heart. Ritual sacrifice In Islam, the sacrifice of an animal is legal from the morning of the 10th to sunset of the 13th Du el Hijjah, the 12th lunar month of the Islamic calendar. On these days, Muslims all over the world offer kurbani, which means a sacrifice, slaughter of an animal on specific days for the pleasure of Allah. It is understood as a symbolic repetition of Ibrahim's sacrifice of a ram in place of his son, a crucial notion in Judaism, and Islam alike. Islamic preachers would use the occasion to comment on the fact that Islam is a religion of sacrifice and use this opportunity to remind Muslims of their duty of serving mankind with their time, effort and wealth. Most schools of fiqh accept that the animal must be slaughtered according to the laws of dabiha and that the animal in question must be a domesticated goat, sheep, cow or camel. Martyred The term is also used for those who have been martyred. See also Dabiha Dusni Brav Corbin. 
References External links Principles of Udia